things like threats, making threats, uh, threats to kill, harassment, so that's causing people alarm and distress, stalking, coercive and controlling behaviour if it's digitally enabled, inciting violence, uh, publishing material that stirs up racial or religious hatred, grossly offensive, indecent, uh, obscene or false communications. Um, we've also got things like um, making or possessing indecent images of children. Um, we've got disclosing private or kind of sexual uh, video material, photographs, um, sometimes called revenge porn uh, and of course quite recently you might have seen um, you know the the campaign by Gina Martin that was successful to get so-called upskirting made a criminal offence as well I've got down here glorifying and encouraging terrorism also a crime encouraging suicide um, and a whole host of things that I think broadly fall under contempt of court as well so that's where you have to be really careful not to publish or broadcast um, material that will uh, cause if you like uh, interference with the course of justice we've got very strict laws to protect your right to a fair trial that you can't just go around saying somebody's guilty before they've been found guilty in a court of law we've also got very important things like anonymity provisions for children who are involved in crime and criminal cases uh, and sexual offense victims sex victims are also given certain legal uh, right to anonymity um, which is something that a lot of people don't know about now i'm not saying the law is perfect i think there's lots of room for development um, and you can actually go and have a look right now at the Law Commission, which is undertaking a review. I will share the links to the Law Commission review that I mentioned, and also the Crown Prosecution Guidelines on prosecuting social media offences as well, if anyone wants to read more on those.